What is up guys? Today we're gonna try to replace a uh, LCD screen on the Samsung Galaxy S4 and I don't know if you can see but on my one I broke the screen the LCD screen is all cracked but the Gorilla Glass is still intact so I have bought a replacement uh, OEM Samsung digitizer LCD screen it's a different colour, it's uh, navy blue royal blue I think that's what they call it what we're going to do is basically replace the whole screen and put everything all the uh, components into this one first thing you want to do is obviously take out your SIM card, your SD mini micro SD and you want to take off this bezel middle bit and to do that well I've already took out the screws you get a pick or any plastic tool that you have and you just want to pry into I started off by the foiling button there's clips on each side uh, each corners so you just want to unclip them that will take out the mid and middle housing of it and here you are with all the components and actually the LCD screen and the outside glass bit is stuck together so this is a more costly method changing the whole LCD screen and digitizer but um, you can just replace the the front glass if you just broke the front glass and the LCD screen is still fine but um, on this tutorial we're just going to change the whole thing so what we want to do is first off we want to test if this works so we're going to put the battery in and then I'm going to take out the LCD screen input which is right here and then we want to plug this one in make sure you have uh, grounded your hands before you do this so you don't mess up any circuits there you go you want to check if there's any like dead dead pixels or anything but it seems to be working battery is low and it works you just want to press it to see if it's, everything's fine first we want to there's a screw here that we need to take out that holds the top part of the phone so it's just right here a screw right there right next to the headphone jack and then I'll actually we want to take out the antenna so pop that out the antenna out make sure we don't damage anything in the process and then we want to unclip these two up here and this one so then we can just pull this straight out There you go, everything's still intact. Just gonna place that here. Next you want to take out, I think that's the LED light. So there is a clip there that you need to pop out first. There it is, there's the clip, speaker here. Give it a clean, mine's a bit dirty. 
All right, so what we've done so far is we have put the front facing camera and the little LED light and speaker under here, put the clip back in and also the headphone jack, secure the headphone jack back here. Make sure it's all snug. That's it. Next we want to take out the vibration of the old digitizer, which is right here. So little connect two little connectors. Just want to get like a smallest flathead you can find. Just slowly pop it out. There you go, there it is. It's uh, got like a self adhesive back on it. And now we just want to put it back in here. Stick it back on. Now we need to start the bottom of the phone. The charging bit, as well as um, what makes these buttons work. <coughs> so we want to take this strip off and this is stuck by two-sided tape. So you just want to kind of slowly, not try to break anything. Slowly, I'll unclip that. Slowly peel it off. The, that's where the USB is just kind of popped off. So here it is at the bottom. It was taped to see where the uh, where it was taped at the back of it. Now we want to stick the part of it, stick it back on. Hopefully. This goes all right. Now we want to put the top part of the phone back on, the back camera, SIM card, etc. So we want to tuck it underneath all the other components. So far it's looking like a complete phone. One last thing we need to connect is the antenna. Which is very tricky, especially if you've got Big fingers. Can't even get this in. Almost. This is so hard to do. Most important part of the phone. You don't want to mess this up. All right, that's in. Oh. The cables snug. If I 
That's as snug as they're going to get. Take this off now. So everything's back in. We want to test if it actually works, if anything, you know, is dodgy or not connected properly. So I'm just going to put the battery back in before we're going to uh, put the middle face in place. To make sure the home button, back buttons work. There you go. Even the home screen, that seems to be all working fine. That's what we want to see. Okay, so now what's left to do is turn it back off. Turn it off again. Now we want to put the middle housing back in. Just like so, just kind of snaps back in. Speaker back in. That's the easiest part. Make sure everything's snug. Now we want to screw everything back in. Make sure everything's nice and tight. This phone is going to be just like brand new. So that is how you fix the Samsung Galaxy S4 digitizer and LCD screen. And everything seems to be working fine. Just need to get a new case for it now, just so it matches the royal blue. Just a close up on the side here. I'm still using my old case. And everything is as good as new. There you go guys, probably gonna try to use this phone as long as I can. I know now it's up to S7, but you can see how long this one lasts. So thanks for watching guys and see you again soon.